So hello everyone. My name is Vishal Boy and I am host of today's event and I welcome all of you on behalf of RDC PDP student chapter. Nowadays LinkedIn is a very common app among the students, employees and industry persons. So if you are a student and you do not have much knowledge then what a, what an impressive profile looks like. So and it is very crucial step in your career because as you all know the first impression is last long. and it's indeed important to build an impressive profile from very beginning of your career in order to get more attention so in this digital platform you are presenting yourself through your profile so it is a most important that it is an it is impressive and for this purpose we have organized a unique workshop on a linkedin profile building and for this i am very glad to invite our chairman of idsc pdp student chapter the mentor of this workshop mr parag borania he is strategic thinker and an able leader he is currently in a final year of petroleum engineering and before we start the workshop i would like to inform the participants if anyone has question in question then he or she may drop the question in chat box or keep in mind and we will give you a chance at the end of the workshop then they can raise your hand and ask so now i feel obliged to welcome mr parag to commence the workshop thank you parag bhai uh thank you vishal for the wonderful introduction i welcome all the participants to this workshop am i audible vishal perfect yes yes okay 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 so thank you vishal once again so those who are present here i would like to inform you that uh, yeah linkedin is really becoming a very important uh, uh, software or we can say an application for the young generation for for the students like us be it any field like petroleum be it be it any field of engineering medical law or uh, finance anything everybody uses linkedin so this workshop is uh, divided into two parts in the first part in the first half we will discuss i will give you some idea regarding what is linkedin why you should use linkedin what are the different uh, aspects in profile building so i will give you some idea regarding that and then in the second phase in the second part i will show you the live demo of how to create a good linkedin profile right so once again i am not an expert of uh, anything here i am just uh, giving you the idea as uh, have gone through it and have experienced and have got benefits from linkedin as well so i have thought to conduct this workshop so not wait wasting much of the time let's go on uh, on the workshop okay so first of all Uh, actually, wait, wait a minute. Uh, Vishal, have you given me the permissions? Nishit, yeah, 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 I got it. Okay, so the first slide uh, here you are uh, seeing is uh, a kind of a joke, a uh, joke, or a, you can uh, take as a tongue twister. donuts on other social media and donuts on linkedin uh, we generally prepare uh, some kind of recipe at home we share it with our friends we uh, we like to click its photos we like to put it on a facebook to get likes we put it on a snapchat to uh, uh, give our idea to people that yes we are doing this we like to share everything right we like to share everything happily and confidently with everyone we put it on a pin interest with by clicking a photo with dslr we put it on a whatsapp status to uh, acknowledge everyone so there uh, these social media sites are different and uh, one, another side is linkedin so these sites i am not again criticizing any of the websites but yeah social media social media sites like facebook instagram whatsapp they help you to uh, socialize they help you to stay happy they help you to share everything but on the other side linkedin has its own benefits linkedin is totally used in different aspect through linkedin you can do business through linkedin you can get a job through linkedin you can create your own franchise you can be a production uh, manager you can become a sales manager you can stay updated so you can see in both the pictures you can see here people are celebrating and here he is using that donut to uh, create his own business so you can think linkedin why linkedin is uh, so much important in current scenario so 
uh, there will be question in a lot of uh, the people's mind uh, right uh, around here many of you will be in the first year many many of you will be in the second year third year so third year people and fourth year people would be knowing that yeah this is uh, linkedin uh, what we can do it with it but especially for the first and second year students it is very important to know why they should use linkedin so on the first line only you can see that because it is the world's largest professional network there are lot many applications available on the internet there are lot many platforms available there are lot many resources available where you can get connected to people but this is one of the standard application or we can say the standard platform where all the professionals will be connected it has 766 million members and growing and in growing the students like us come who are, we have just started using linkedin 25 percentage of millennials that is 18 to 25 years old people use linkedin like generation of ours who are seeking for job opportunities who are trying to set up their own business a linkedin profile ranks high on google whenever you will type anyone's name suppose you type anyone's name who is using linkedin uh, his linkedin profile will be first on the google then after if he is using facebook instagram or anything else it will be on the downer side most importantly recruiters use it and that's why we are on linkedin to get a job right our ultimate uh, uh, prospective of uh, using linkedin is to find an opportunity so that we can land in a good organization and start working and building our career so yeah linkedin members who are linkedin members who uses linkedin now uh, you can see instagram uh, why i am comparing it uh, comparing it, it with other social media so as to give you an idea why it is different right there is no any criticizing that you should not instagram uh, use instagram you should use instagram and uh, other social media sites as well but i am just giving you a comparison so linkedin is generally used by top level executives if you will see you will also find apple ceo there you will find mukesh ambani reliance ceo everybody uses linkedin if you will search their name in the search bar you will find they also uses linkedin everybody uh, on the top level like chairman ceo executives everybody uses linkedin for business promotion networking and industry Uh, then comes the intermediate management now ceo will not come and take your interview right at the entry level the interview will be taken by hr management team hr team there is a separate department so what why they use linkedin they use linkedin to post different type of uh, job uh, seeking opportunities for hiring the people like you people like me they uh, post it for the uh, we can say the uh, this uh, industry uh, networking they also do and uh, commercialize they also socialize uh, using different kind of banners they promote we can say promotion of their company like we have used this technology we have started using this technology you can join us you can buy our product everything uh, such kind of stuff comes under intermediate management and then comes the entry level and in entry level we come the students who are just starting to use the linkedin like thousand of people are you uh, have started using linkedin but what's the main problem do you know people just build their profile and just leave it they don't use linkedin they 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 just don't visit it uh, once in a month as well they just they will just build a profile and that's it they will not check it so that is the main problem you should not do it you should visit the profile regularly i am not telling that you should not use other social media again you should use but you should also give priority to use linkedin because it has many perks and benefits for you then comes the question how to use it like uh, mm-hmm. if i am landing on linkedin for the first time i will not be knowing what i should do here like how to create a profile and what uh, whatever the things are so first is complete your profile and that is the aspect we are going to discuss in our second phase how to build a good profile then use keywords in your profile now what keywords here means is uh, uh, suppose uh, you are from a engineering background then you can use keywords like engineering and if you are specifically from suppose electrical engineering you could you could use power you could you could use electronics you could use grid you could use electrical engineering electrical industry such kind of keywords should be there in your profile so whenever uh, any other person searches your profile your profile would be visible third is connect with people you know or you have met 
so this is especially for the second or third year students we can say you would be doing your internships be it any i am talking about any of the branch right not uh, especially for engineering law people are there there will be medical people also so uh, you have done your internships right so you cannot ask directly to a top level uh, management executive that give me your number you will obviously you will not ask him directly you will not ask any officer that give me your number directly you can ask him for his email address right so this is also another thing you can ask uh, sir may i have your linkedin profile and you can directly send him a request and connect with him that would be a good impression so connect with the people you already know and you have met directly go go to it then post consistently you need to be consistent on linkedin you need to update your profile regularly okay otherwise you will be lost like you will be just there for the name sake you will not be doing anything so post regularly like the post which are relevant to you enter in discussions by commenting on different type of post which are relevant to you and you think that you can share your knowledge you can do it or also you can uh, start some kind of an initiatives on your own to share knowledge regarding your uh, Uh, on field okay then uh, check who's checking your profile now this is a good feature in linkedin if you will see instagram you will not be able to know who is uh, stalking you i should not use this word but who is stalking you will be uh, you will not be able to know who is stalking you but on linkedin there is a good feature you can see who is checking your profile right so you can see you uh, if you are getting in attention or not then recommend people this is another feature that i will discuss in further uh, uh, slides see again what are the features i have talked much so i will just read out this you can uh, get job alerts on linkedin you can create your own online reputation management you will be having your own home page on which you will be having your good photograph you will, we will be having your good introduction you will be having your education your experience your skills everything on a single page then professional recommendations again this is a good resume builder now people just start thinking or uh, it strikes their mind only when there is an opportunity like if uh, suppose there is a mail from an uh, college that yeah this company is coming for hiring uh, then you will just start to prepare your resume resume will not be that perfect but you will start to do it as soon as the opportunity comes so linkedin is a good feature the profile that you have create, created you can directly download it as a resume you need not to create separate profile uh, separate resume you can directly download your resume from linkedin then comes the linkedin groups there are various kind of groups that are there on linkedin you can join them if they are relevant to your field there are internship opportunities the most highlighted thing right now in this covid 19 period we can see is internship opportunities people are not able to go on field people are not uh, yeah uh, apart from medical people who are uh, going and serving uh, in hospitals they are curing without uh, thinking about their they are going and doing it but rest other people are not able to go on field to do the job or do the internship so online internships has become the new normal so to get such kind of opportunities it will be easy on linkedin you will get it then daily updates and feeds this is a good feature linkedin gives you daily news and updates you can also check on there and it is a good eliminate uh, eliminate tool now what is eliminate tool is when you enter the college in the first year in the second year you will not be knowing who who has passed out from this college and he is working in a good company or in a good organization so what you will do you will ask your direct senior that uh, yes this bhaiya is working in this company i don't know him how to connect with him so you need not to ask anyone right now if you use linkedin just uh, type his name you can send him request because he also will be using linkedin then comes the profile section i will not go much into deep right now because we are going to see how to create profile in uh, in our uh, next section so we can just take up the names you can uh, you have to add your full name you have to add your professional photo this is very important professional photo not a selfie not a photo where you have gone in restaurant and hanging out no no such kind of photos are allowed here you have to you can you should share a professional photo of yours a tag line defining your role your location where you belong to your recommendations your websites website in the sense if you are uh, active on any other social media like if you are active on quora and if you have your page you can add that website here so that people can go there and check out what you are about 
करंट जॉब एंड एक्सपीरियंस समरी इंट्रोडक्शन स्किल्स एंड एक्सपर्टीज अगेन स्किल्स एंड एक्सपर्टीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन एंड दीज आर दी बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट दैट लिंक इन प्रोफाइल नीड्स बट इफ यू गो टू एडवांस लेवल एडवांस लेवल इन द सेंस इफ यू हैव मोर थिंग्स your profile will will be having more weight your profile will be more highlighted your profile will look good more so these are the things like publications publications in the sense if you are a, a good researcher if you are a good uh, uh, thinker or if you have written anything if you are uh, any article is printed in any book you can add its link in pro, uh, profile of uh, in your profile section so that people could go there and read that you you can include your projects your final year projects or any projects you have done with any company any education obviously education has to be added group and associations like uh, for example for petroleum engineers uh, we are budding petroleum engineers so we have sp iadc we have scg different kind of groups there are different medical associations low associations as well which are running internationally and if you are a member of it you can add your membership in the uh, this profile section then any volunteer experience there are volunteer experience like rss if you have participated in a blood donation camp if you have uh, done any social activity or if you have organized any event you can add the add also in your profile so this is the last slide that i want to discuss we will not talk much we will directly jump on to how to create the profile i just want to highlight uh, two three points from here uh, what are the best practices for job seeking and networking like how you could do it because you will create a profile right you will be having a good uh, profile picture you will be having good uh, introduction everything but how to move ahead how to actually get into the picture how to get noticed i can say how to uh, come into searches how to uh, inform people that yes i am also on linkedin and uh, i am i am having this 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 things okay so create a relevant and unique tagline first include all your past experiences organizations in the link in your profile ask for recommendation now this is very sensitive sensitive not i should not use word sensitive but you can think a very important thing if you have worked under you cannot ask your friend to recommend you okay obviously your friend will uh, tell good about you only and write good about you uh, good about you that he is a good guy he is very professional he is very polite everything he will write but that is not a good that is not a standard way you should be recommended by a good mentor from the company like if you have done your internship then your mentor can recommend recommend you and the recommendation will be represented in your profile so if somebody else is reading it he will read yes oh this guy is a manager in ongc he has recommended it that yes uh, parag has worked under me he is uh, this 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 is this so it will create a good impression you can include various urls that is uh, social profiles that i have discussed uh, regarding quora post regular updates to stay top of the mind with your network incorporate your linkedin profile into your resume highlight this point remember this point guys if you are in third or fourth year or if you are going uh, anywhere for giving a like going for an interview or anything if you are supposed to give your resume please include your linkedin profile in there because this will create a very good impression i have a personal experience of it so i am telling it so linkedin profile you can add url where you are adding your name your languages your experience you can add linkedin profile url there so the recruiter or the person who is taking your interview might go on your linkedin profile and check and that will create a good impression if you have managed your uh, profile very well then conduct targeted people search to locate contacts related to your industry this is the thing is you you should search you have to send request to the people don't wait that someone will send me you should not uh, be in that mindset here if you want to get connected if you want opportunities you have to start connecting to the people okay so this was it from my slides this is just the first phase over you can contact me on uh, this uh social media handles i available i am available on linkedin as well i am available on whatsapp i am available on email uh, gmail as well you can mail me okay so this is the first phase over now i will show you the live demo of how to create a profile till then i would uh, request nishit to ask people if they have any questions in it if anybody have any questions they can raise their hand or they can type in uh, the chat box
because we want uh, we don't want to make it monotonous i am just speaking and uh, you guys uh, okay so you can ask questions if you if you have any otherwise we could directly jump on to how to create the profile and uh, don't worry if you are not able to follow the current correct steps yeah, we are recording this session and this will be uploaded on youtube and you can again go there and uh, check your steps how to create it okay so don't worry if you are missing out on anything any questions guys yes it's so you can you can ask now sir yeah you can type the question in your chat box if you have any questions you can type in the chat box i will answer it okay so we should continue for next phase yes so vishal is it visible everything is visible yes yes it is okay so guys uh, let us start building a good linkedin profile first i will uh, show you how to build it and then i will show you my own profile i am not telling that my profile is standard but yeah i have maintained it nicely so i will show you how a good linkedin profile looks okay at the end so first of all when you when you will start linkedin it will show you this this kind of a window right so you can enter your emails and uh, like you have to sign in right sign in first so i am signing in right now okay so i will uh, sign in right okay yeah okay so we will start now first of all enter your any phone number or email if you have uh, that you can add a password so next step is guys i will go slightly fast okay so if you have any doubt write in the chat box in between okay so that i would be able to know otherwise i will not know that if you are having any doubt or not vishal is everything going fine like is my screen visible because people are not responding uh, that's why yes it is visible okay so i will speak this step out and then i will do it okay so just follow it first of all i am entering any name suppose i am taking uh, the name as sachin i am taking my first name is sachin you can then enter the sec uh, this last name suppose last name i am adding sharma okay this is the first name and last name then you can go for the continue okay so it will send a code on your mobile phone that uh, you have registered so i am entering the code which i have got that is yeah when you will enter the code you are registered on linkedin right now okay so this is the registration or we can say the sign in then you have to select your country suppose my country is india i am selecting the uh, country india then uh, you can go for the city or district suppose i am adding the city as mumbai right mumbai so it will show you the cities uh, linkedin is a very good feature whatever you are typing it will try to show the uh, associated results to you so i am suppose belonging to mumbai so i am adding mumbai maharashtra india okay next 
then uh, your profile helps you discover new people and opportunities most recent job so suppose i am i am not having uh, any job right now so i can select i am a student here okay i am a student then uh, you can add your school or uh, college suppose i am adding pandit dinayal petroleum university gandhinagar in this also if you will type it will show your own university see here it is showing the logo of my university directly so linkedin has saved uh, that data or it is having that data from the google itself then you can add your degree suppose i am adding bachelor's degree your specialization like petroleum engineering electrical engineering uh, mbbs we can say if you are any low student you can uh, use your degree here so petroleum engineer this is just an example okay guys i am just showing you how to handle it start year start year here means the starting of your degree so my starting year uh, would be i am keeping it 2020 my starting year is 2020 i am a first year student for example the end year end year means when you will pass out so pass out uh, 2020 means 21 22 23 and 24 we passing out in 2024 four years then uh, i am 16 yeah so continue okay so are you looking for a new job yes if you are and no if you are not suppose i am doing yes okay so search for a job you are interested in and uh, skip if you are not uh, right now interested in it so you can skip this okay so here is your main window here is your main window when you will first create your profile it will look like this there will be nothing to uh, represent right then you can go on your profile section see this is the profile section here where my arrow is you can go to profile section see this is showing now when you will click on it it will show your profile so your profile right now is having nothing like you have nothing on your profile see it is looking blank so now let us start step by step what you should do first of all what uh, i have i had told in the uh, presentation that you should be having your good professional photograph so let us click on there to add a good professional photograph first of all upload the photo from your computer so yes i have told you professional uh, this is not sachin sharma i have just using it as a dummy uh, dummy photograph right now i'm just uh, showing you that this is this is called a professional photo this should be the type of photograph that you should be adding it save photo so now you can check your profile has been added the photograph of yours see this is showing your name sachin sharma you are student at pandit dinayal petroleum university gandhinagar your location everything because we have already entered it right now this is the section in the background you can see this is this cannot be done on your phone this is only can be done from your laptop this section so what you can do here is you can add a background photo relevant to your field suppose this guy is uh, relevant to petroleum engineering so i can uh, add a photograph which is uh, relevant to petroleum so yeah i have already downloaded the photo to show you so here i am you can adjust your photograph as you want suppose i am adjusting it and uh, yeah that's it apply i have applied so yeah now you can you can yourself uh, see how good your profile is looking you have added your photograph you have added a good background photo you have added your name everything but your profile is still 5% completed not not enough this is not enough now let us go to add profile section you can go to add profile section in the first phase you can see there is an introduction part in introduction see it is showing you sachin your intro is looking good check out other sections you can add to your profile linkedin will directly assess it and tell tell you that yeah your profile is good then uh, you can go to about in about section there is a, uh, a sub section called summary so in summary i'm just giving you an idea what you should write 
in summary you should write about what who are you not uh, you should not write your parents name that uh, my pa- my father's name is this my mother's name is this i belong to this no you don't have to add such kind of things here you just have to add five to six lines about who are you like your name what you are pursuing what is your field of interest what is your skill and what you are looking for these are the four to five things that you should include a short and sweet summary would look good you should not write an essay again okay so suppose i am writing here i am just showing you a demo okay i am i am in sharma from mumbai so this is just an example i am showing you how it will look on your profile i am saving it right so i have saved it so see here it is showing linkedin will show you the progress how your profile is looking it is showing that intermediate great progress you have added something at least on your profile so you can see here now the section has been added i am sachin sharma from mumbai you can edit it uh, once again if you want to edit it okay so now uh, let us go to another section i have added the about uh, i have added the feature uh, now go to featured let us go to featured section see again this is showing looking good sachin this section is complete you have added it go to featured section in featured section you have the first option is posts no post to display right now you have you have not posted anything right if you will post anything it will show you here now for this let us go to the general section like general section is the home page let us go to home page so you can see here uh, yeah it is showing you start a post you can post anything that is relevant to your uh, domain right you can type in anything here you can add a photograph you can add a video you can add a link you can you can celebrate an occasion if uh, like suppose your organization is completing 20 years 50 years 100 years or you you want to uh, like represent any of your achievement again that uh, uh, i am happy to share that i have completed uh, internship here i am happy to share that i have completed a workshop for two days at this organization and these are my learnings so this will help people to know what you are all about right so you can post anything here that is relevant to your uh, there is there are different uh, type of sections here you can check out afterwards but this is again a good uh, another uh, i would say uh, option that is create a poll section you can add any questions you can add options then you can post and you can see people are voting there and people will comment their own uh, uh, suggestions or the advices etc right so this is a good way to interact with people virtually i would say then uh, there is an option called add hashtag now how hashtag will help you i should not go more on this because people are using instagram so they would be knowing why we are adding hashtag to get more popularity popularity in the sense to get more attention to our profile or anything right so you can use good hashtags as well so this is the post section then if you want to add any video you can add there is an event is if the if it is there is uh, any event or any workshop coming you want to uh, make people aware about of it you can create a event here you can write an article if you are a good article writer you can uh, write your good article and then you can post so that different people uh, people can see it so this was the from the post section now let us go to next uh, section so yeah we have seen the post articles links and media right so don't worry i am not posting right now anything i will show you my profile where i have already posted something and my uh, profile which has all this aspect right i am just showing you from where you can add what things okay then you can go to background section in background you can add your work experience now let us uh, right any work experience suppose uh, any work experience like i am a third year student right and i have done internship somewhere so i will add the title as intern uh, summer intern right summer intern then employment type linkedin will ask you employment type if you are a full time full time will only come when you are doing job somewhere right 
this is a part time because this internship was for two months suppose so part time i have selected part time here then go to company in which company you have done your internship suppose i have done my internship in uh, suppose tata tata group suppose this is just an example i am showing whatever company name you will write it will show you directly so suppose tata group and then you can choose location location in the sense uh, where you have done your internship suppose i am adding here uh, bangalore b a n g yeah see this is directly showing you bangalore then uh, start date on which date your internship started suppose which day or month suppose my internship started in january and uh, year was uh, 2020 and uh, i am not currently working here i will i have already done my internship so you have to uncheck this you can add your end date i have completed my internship in february i have done uh, uh, year would be same that is 2020 and in description in description you can add what have you learned you don't have to add that i went there i did this like uh, then we went there like you don't have to write essay or a report here you just have to add the highlights what you have learned in your internship right you can add that here point wise nicely and here it is the upload section you can also upload your certificate of the internship so this is the complete thing that will represent on your profile suppose save i am saving this so now you can see i have added my name i have added my profile i have added my info everything i have added by summary then you can see in experience it is showing summer intern tata group january to february the two months internship here so this will show in your profile section now this way you can add as many as experience you are having okay there is no limit you can add it then let us go to next section here uh yeah education then comes the education section uh from where have you done your education suppose you have done your schooling from suppose i am adding my college or school name sorry school name saint mary saint uh, john's university anything i am just showing you the example saint john's university i have done my uh, uh suppose high school diploma suppose degree is high school diploma what was your field of study was it business what is was it science was it law was it medical anything so suppose i am uh, adding here that i was having in the science see okay suppose computer science what was the start year you can add anything like, like uh, my start year was uh, suppose 2015 i completed it in uh, 2019 yes then what was the grade that you got suppose i got uh, 80 uh, 85% right uh, was there any social activities you did there you can add here you can add your description here then again any certificates you achieved in school like which are very good which are uh, very of good importance not everything that if you have, uh, came first in a sports uh, sports game uh, like if if it is of high grade like international level national level state level then you can add if you have earned certificate in a running race in a school you should not add it i would suggest okay so again saving it so now you can check in education it will be showing so first education i have already added that right now i am studying in pdpu this is my degree degree or anything and see this is your schooling it will show your schooling here right now so let us take a small break from it i will show how a profile will look so i am just okay. showing my profile uh, vishal we are Google. continuing Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Drew Gar has a doubt, and I am unmuting us, and he he is asking now. Yes, Drew Gar, you can ask now. Uh, yes, sir. 
Sir, you said that we can upload, we can upload the certificate that we have achieved in high school. So can yeah. we can we post the uh, scholar batch and the proficiency certificates we got in that? Yeah, uh, yes, you can add. Uh, what I have told you that. You Sorry, yeah. You should not add a small certificate like if you have came first in a running race in a school, you should not add it. But if it is of good importance of national level, international level, or that achievement is really good, then you can add. Yes. Okay, means if it is reputed, then we can add it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Any more question? No, no. Uh, Dhruv, uh, are you getting it? What I'm, whatever I'm speaking? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting all, okay. all the things. Okay, so any more questions from anyone? We can take it and then we can again move towards uh, the next phase. Simply raise your hand and we will unmute you. Yeah. And then you can ask. And if you don't want to ask here, you can uh, uh, mail me or you can WhatsApp me or you can directly connect on LinkedIn. You can uh, ask me, okay? Okay, I guess we shall, uh, we should continue. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So, yes, let us go. Uh, so, this is my profile I'm showing. Again, I'm not telling that my profile is the best. Okay. <laughs> I'm just showing my profile that after adding everything, a good experience, good education, everything, your profile should look like this. So, this is my photo. This is my field background. So, the tagline that we were talking about is this. This part is the tagline part. This is this should be very short. This should highlight what you are and what you have done. OK, so suppose I'm the chairman right at IADC PDP student chapter. I am final year undergraduate petroleum student. Then you should add a good quality of yours, which you are very much confident at. Then your domain and if any relevant achievement that you have, you can add it. So you can see this. Your profile will look like this about I've uh, shown uh, you the about section. So this is my about. I have written in uh, slightly more. You can also shorten it or this also is perfect. You can add this. This is featured section. I have written a uh, 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 article and I have added it here. I have also was included in YouTube video. So I have uh, added it here. So you can see your featured section will look like this. And whenever people will uh, visit your profile, they will get a chance to see you. They will get a chance to see uh, see your skills. This is the dashboard section. Dashboard is see this is showing you. LinkedIn is showing you that 634 people viewed your profile. So this data would be based on the week, like weekly or monthly. They will show you that uh, in a week or in a month, 634 people visited your profile. This is 742 post view. Suppose I'm posting anything, then this will show you how much people have viewed your post. And this is 116 search appearances. It will show that uh, someone, suppose I was searching for it and my uh, your name come in between. Then how many times you were appeared on the search? This is the activity section, like whatever activity I'm doing. Suppose I'm liking anything, then it will show here. If I am commenting anything, it will show here. Suppose I'm, uh, let me show you some post, like how to post something I'm showing you. So this is my all activity, whatever I'm doing, it will show here. These are my article section. I've added some articles which I think they were good, which were relevant, uh, should people should read it. That's why I've uh, added here. These are the post that I've done. So see here. The post which were done by you, they, uh, it will show you here. And again, you can see this here. You can see this that uh, it will show you the uh, how many people have liked it. If anybody have commented, it will show you the comments here as well. So this is the post section. So let us come back to profile again. I'm just showing you to give you an idea like how it looks. So yeah. Let us move further down. See here experience. I've told you you can add your experience if you are uh, any good position in your college, in your school. If you've done anything, you can add here, right? See, this is my internship experience. I've done an internship in a company. I can add here. Suppose now let us uh, let me show you that what you should uh, add in your description section. You should uh, show your project title 
and topics of learning short and simple you should not write any sentences you should not write an essay that i have done this done this no just an highlight if anybody would uh, see this he will also love to read yeah this guy has done this this guy has done this okay this is it shortly this is education part we will come to this licenses and certifications i will show you so now let us get back on to the profile creation where we were creating our profile yeah so where we reached yeah we reached to the education section after that there is a good and very nice option that a student will like or any person will like their licenses and certifications if i have achieved something obviously i would like to share to someone not in a wrong way that yes i have done this i have done this no in a way that yes i had attended it i have learned this 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 you can also attend it you can also recommend different people to get benefit from it so licenses and certification so how to add license or certification we will not use word here license certificate how to add a certificate simply you can name the certificate suppose name name of the certificate in the sense uh, internship completion certificate or anything like that suppose there is a certificate called uh, introduction to python uh, introduction using java suppose i have done a certificate on introduction to java issuing organization who issued it obviously you should be having some proof right otherwise anybody would create a wrong certificate and would uh, upload it no they are asking you for an organization who gave you this certificate suppose my certificate was given by coursera yeah coursera so i have added coursera here then issued it when the certificate was issued to you suppose in march i am adding here march what is its expiration date some, some certificates are having expiry date like they will expire after some time so you have to renew it but it is not uh, in the case here if your certificate is permanent you can do this that this credential does not expire so here uh, when i achieved this certificate i achieved it in 2019 okay then credential id and credential url you are, suppose um, nowadays this would be very much important why because we will not be able to collect the hard copy of any certificate so that certificate in a soft copy manner or on the any website so you can copy like suppose you can copy the url and then you can paste it here so whenever people will go on to your profile they will just click and can view your certificate online okay so i am not right now adding it anything here because this is just a dummy profile so now i am saving it so yes now you can see it will show your license in certification so you can see this introduction to programming using java through coursera issued on march 2019 you can add as many as certification you want but what i would suggest is you should not add everything you should not add everything choose 5 to 6 or 7 to 8 or 9 to 10 i would add 9 to 10 most prominent or the most reputed things that you have done and you can add it in there your profile again should not look like junky very much everything you have added everything and people would just find and search everything no you should uh, add good and uh, limited things in your profile okay so this was the license and certifications you can add certificates then volunteer experience again i have told you that if you have done any volunteering part in any fest or uh, you have done your volunteering uh, in uh, any of the camps or anything i would show you here volunteer suppose uh, volunteer is red cross it is showing me red cross here so let me add red cross only uh, wait not red 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 cross suppose yeah let me just add it what was your role have you volunteered suppose i was a student volunteer i am adding student volunteer what was the cause like what was that all about suppose it was all about uh, uh, we can uh, select health right it was about health uh, i am currently volunteering this role no i have completed it Uh, sorry yeah 
have completed it. Then you can again add, add a date. Suppose February, suppose year was 2018. I have completed that in April. The year was again the same 2018. Again, description. What you have learned, what you have done, you can add it here. Okay, then save. Then you can go and check. It will show the voluntary experience as well. So you can, guys, I I think now you would be getting some idea that yeah, step by step how to create a profile. So you can see here your this bar has reached here. What it is showing you that you have reached intermediate level in your profile. Now your profile is not looking empty as well and your profile is not looking complete as well. Your profile is in intermediate stage. It is showing you everything that you have added. So let us go to the next section. I hope you would be getting it what I'm speaking because uh, we are not able to uh, directly talk to you because it will create again a chaos and people will start uh, asking uh, randomly. So we will keep a question answer session at the end. You can note down if you have any doubt. We will definitely give you a time to discuss with us. OK, so now let us come to the skills section. Now this is very important guys. Skills are really very much important. You can add any skills that you are having that you are prominent at or the skills which you are confident at. Suppose I'm adding this engineering skill. Suppose uh, you can search it here as well. Suppose I'm good at documentation. I can search here documentation. So yeah, it will add documentation. Suppose I'm good at softwares, so I can use software development. Suppose software development. I'm good at English. Suppose I have a good leadership skills. So I will add leadership here, team leadership. Yeah, suppose I am having a good uh, financial skills as well. I will add finance. I am good communicator. Yes, I will add communication again. I would say again, I would say don't fake here or don't add just to show people that you have. If you are really good at then only add it. OK, suppose uh, I am having a good uh, writing skills as well. I'm adding writing. OK. Suppose I'm good at Microsoft Word. Yeah, I can add Microsoft Word. So see, this will add up to your profile. Now I'm adding it. Add. See, this bar has gone much more higher. You can check now. See, it is showing your skills now that uh, this guy is having this engineering skill, documentation skill, software development skill. Once one more thing, you can add more grades to the skills to you can add more weight as you need by taking this skills quiz skills quiz that is taken by LinkedIn 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 give you a chance to show your uh, strength in any of this department. Suppose I'm taking a quiz on Microsoft Word. So you can select you can start your test and if you pass you will get a tag from LinkedIn that will be added in front of your profile. So I'm not uh, taking the test right now. I'm just showing you you can take any skill quiz which you are good at. So this was the skill section. Let us go to further more three things th which are remaining. You can add your accompl accomplish accomplishments, right? This is a very important section. Obviously, if you have achieved anything, you would like to share it to the people that yeah, because that would be the proof that yes, this guy is good at petroleum. This guy is good at uh, law. This guy is good at finance. This will be the proofs that you can add. You can add your publication. I will not now directly go into it. I will just I'm just showing you now publications. You can add your patents if you have. you can add courses. Suppose online courses if you have done. Uh, let me show you now. Suppose any online course you have done. Suppose I've done the uh, course on mathematics. I will write your mathematics. Uh, what is the number? There would be some number of the course. You can uh, do that. Suppose mathematics uh, expert level. Suppose I have done expert level mathematics course here associated with. Now you have done that course, but or to what it was associated. So if it is not relevant to anything, you can choose that. Yeah, I was student at PDPU and I've done it. So save it. So it will add in your course. That yes, this guy has done this course. 
see here it will show you one it means this guy has done one course you can add as many as course you want to okay so this would be in the accomplishments section then you can add your projects if you are doing any projects you can add here if you have any honors honors and awards suppose you came first in a, any conference if you have won any award best student chapter award uh, sorry best student award best volunteer award best intern award you can add your in, uh, awards here let me show you suppose what was the title of the award suppose the title was best intern associated with eight internet tata group issuer who issued this so it was issued by tata group itself when it was issued suppose it was issued in february it was issued in uh, 2020 and description again description is a very good thing that linkedin is providing you to that you can add up to show that yes you have done this then you can save it then again you can go and check see it will show that yeah this guy has achieved one award that was of best intern okay so the process is really simple guys this is not very much tough that you should uh, uh, think about this is just i am giving you an idea how you could do it because many people are uh, like i was also not knowing that how to use linkedin but i learned i learned from my seniors i learned by uh, uh, seeing the youtube or by knowing from different people then i created my own profile and that is that is helping me really right now so this is the honors and award you can also add a test score let me give an example if you have scored good in jwe exam if you have uh, scored go good in good set if you good get really good high score then you can add your test score here you can add your languages let me go on there how to add languages suppose i am good at english english i can add english proficiency level how much good english you know suppose if you know elementary level you can elementary if you know full professional proficiency then you can add that also and if it is your native language you can add native suppose i am doing it native or bilingual proficiency same you can add as many as languages you know then it will show one language here as well you can add another language if you are having so yeah languages organizations organizations in the sense the up to now suppose i am a third year student anywhere and up to now as many as organizations i have come in touch with i can add that okay additional information what this additional information is request for and recommendation now please look or please uh, give your full attention to it because this is really very much important thing that will add up to your profile that would help you to get something really very easy really not very easy but it would create a good easier path for you so who do you want to ask i will not uh, uh, like show you the live demo because i have not any connections on this uh, profile right now okay so i will show you how recommendation look on my profile but you can start uh, here who do you want to ask suppose uh, if i have done internship and my mentor is mentor was really happy i can write his name and i can send him a message that please recommend me and then he will write about you and send to you and it will be seen on your profile if he has recommended you and if you have done good work there so this was a recommendation part and supported languages you can uh you can personalize your profile by a by uh, showing your profile in different languages as well so this was all about the profile section there is much more into it see here is one more option contact info in contact info you can uh, add different things see here uh, you can uh, add your phone number you can add your website if you are having any website you can add it here you can add up your address you can add your birth date or anything so these are the some more uh, features given by linkedin which you should take use of okay so discard currently i am not uh, adding anything i will show you on your my uh, on my profile so this was uh, we completed this now let us come to more this more section you can see this share profile in a message suppose you want to send your profile to someone suppose someone is asking uh, you have come in contact with any manager then if he want to know more about you 
then you can send your profile to him by by this option you can save to pdf you can download your profile as well on your uh, pc in a pdf format build a resume so this was a feature i was talking about that you can directly download your resume here you need not to create a separate uh, resume okay so this was all about how to create a good profile this profile is not obviously not completed i have shown you just to as a demo now let us go on my profile and i'm showing you that how it looks so yeah where we reached yes this was the education section see these are the licenses and certifications i have done this much courses so i am adding adding up here you can see as many as uh, certifications that are good and that are relevant you can add up here then let us come to volunteer experience suppose i have done volunteering in a pdp usp fest i have added here then this was the part i was talking about skills suppose i am good at petroleum this is not like boasting about you but if you are really confident that yes i am good at this you can add it i am good at petroleum engineering because it is my domain i have added it so people will endorse you now this is another a good feature if suppose uh, my friend knows that yes parag is good at uh, documentation then he can go on my profile and endorse me endorse me in the sense supporting that that yes this guy also knows about him so you can get as much as endorsements you have like people will endorse you and it will show you 13 people have endorsed me for petroleum engineering so it will create a good impression on the people who are looking on your profile so these are the uh, section c this was the recommendation part that i was talking about people will recommend you so suppose let me show you one recommendation how it looks uh, suppose let us uh, see this uh, uh, we can take anything yeah suppose uh, mani bansal mr mani bansal he was my mentor at uh, irs ongc i had done my internship last uh, january so he was my mentor so i asked him to recommend me so see he will talk about me like what he see what he had seen in me so you can see i worked with parag as a senior team buddy while he was interning at the irs this 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 and see here he will showcase that he showcased his ex exceptional troubleshooting skills in reservoir simulation modeling and anything what was his experience with you he will share here so you can ask different people for different recommendations they will write about you let us go to this see accomplishments i was talking about i have done 11 courses you can add as many as once again i have told you you can you should not add all the courses you can you can add which are more prominent and which are more useful so you can see here i have added 11 courses here i have added 11 organizations six honors and awards that were that i thought that were good i have added it six test scores languages projects that i am doing okay so this is a i would not say a perfect i would obviously not uh, say good about me that this is a perfect but this is the a good profile your profile should look like this let us go on back and uh, let us finish it with by discussing some more features that linkedin is providing to you see this is a search bar where you can search for anything search for anything in the sense suppose you know someone you can search his name you can send him the request and then uh, if he is selecting it if he is accepting it it will show it, show you here suppose my network in my network you can check who is following you who are your contacts connections contacts groups events it will show but currently it will not show here because this is a dummy profile again messaging section you can message anyone if you have any thing to ask him i would suggest don't do uh, like this is not a, a random platform where you can uh, talk about good morning hi how are you what you are doing uh, let us uh, make a plan to go out no this is not a platform you you should talk about such uh, informal talks here this is a professional platform if you are talking to anybody talk with him with a good respect talk with him with a good decorum that uh, sir i am uh, this 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 student from the, uh, from this university can i talk with you and if he is agreeing you then you can talk with him and one tip i want to give you that whenever someone is accepting your uh, uh, request just uh, send him a thank you message that thanks for connecting he will feel good so a good gesture would create a good impression of yours 
notification section what you are doing uh, it will show you here so this was the profile dummy profile that i've created so let me show you some uh, thing uh, right now uh, yeah i'm going to my home section right now see uh, it is showing me here uh, yeah who viewed your profile again uh, you can see my items my items in the sense my uh, things which i have posted or uh, anything whichever i have done my network see my network is here see uh, totally currently i am having 2021 connections i am in 603 contacts i am in 28 groups i have attended 21 events so these are the things which will add up once you will start to build your good profile so this was all about from my side guys if you have anything to ask me uh, you can uh, have my uh, wait a minute i have already shared my uh, email address i have shared my linkedin profile i have shared my whatsapp number as well you can contact me so this was from my side if you have any questions you can now ask Vishal, you can uh, take over now. Yes, yes. So raise your hand if you have a question, or you can write in chat box as well. Guys, Hello. please ask. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Hello, Barak Bhai. Yes, yes. I think you are telling that if you are regularly updated and uh, constantly <coughs> checking yeah. and keep updated, then yeah. you will get the chance of the. and uh, or anything about the area of interest yeah. but i think it is very easy to tell that but in reality is actually different you will not get those kind of things yeah. yes yes so yes. very yes yes so very good question asked by utsav that uh, it is very easy to say that you will get a job or you will get an opportunity right so it is all about uh, getting updated because if you will see right now on linkedin there will be many postings they will ask you to comment your uh, email address they will ask you to comment your uh, whatsapp number or they will ask you to comment your resume then they will give you a mail then you will check so this is all about i would say uh, staying active on it and keep checking on the things this is all about it there is no surety that linkedin will pro provide you a job no no one can assure you but it is all about Uh, getting uh, participate in anything or getting sending your email address at least you will see how the things work so this is all about that uh, you will no one will serve you directly right you have to try and you have to search for it that's what i can say on that part yes it is not easy obviously not easy i guess i have answered your question utsav that is fine hello i am audible yeah yeah yes contract so parak sir i saw you we are both from the same stream so i want to ask you that which courses would be best for us as per your experience uh in uh, terms of in okay terms okay of i like, got it okay i got it i got it like what online courses you can pursue right yeah yeah so there are uh, many courses available on coursera many not Uh, for petroleum engineers there are not that much courses available but there are course uh, named natural gas and processing there is a course named iwcf level 1 you can do there are courses on uh, course era regarding different skill sets that are excel you can learn powerpoint you can learn learn word then uh, there are different uh, various other courses on different websites that i will definitely share with you guys uh, soon but you can check out for course era and you can also check out on udemy they are also giving free courses as well so you can go on there and you can subscribe some are free some are not free but uh, i will also tell you how to subscribe uh, the courses which are not free as well i will uh, definitely tell you yeah okay thank you sir. okay yeah any more questions Anand. Yes, yes, Anand. Yes, Anand. Next step, Bhaiya. Uh, is our uh, university associated with Coursera that we can do our? Uh, yes, Anand. Uh, yes, yes. Our 
yes uh, our university has uh, associated with it uh, you can contact me personally i will definitely tell you how to do it because uh, people are uh, because different university will, will be having different uh, kind of associations so uh, right now you guys will not be able to access it okay. because you are the pressures uh, this, that uh, right was given to the students who were already enrolled so you can use your friends id or you can uh, i will show you the way how you could you can do it okay 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 bhaiya yeah. sure any more questions guys i guess people have left but uh, once again uh, before we end i would like to thank everybody for attending this workshop uh, once again i was not expert at anything i just shared my experience i just shared my knowledge whatever i was having because people are were really curious to know how to use linkedin i have seen many freshers getting on to there they have started creating profile that is really good but these were just some suggestions or some learnings that i wanted to share that uh, how you could create a good linkedin profile and i would thank everybody to uh, attend this uh, workshop to make it really large because people from different universities across india have attended this workshop people from uh, outside country as well uh, attended this workshop so i am really very much thankful to give your valuable time to it and if you have any questions any queries you can connect with me okay vishal uh, you can uh, yes yashpal yashpal had some question no uh, parag i don't have any question i oh, just want okay. to uh, appreciate your effort that uh, you yeah. have done, uh, you have done something uh, really innovative that no one has done no one has done yet and uh, i think the i think the audience has got most of the benefits i myself uh, was not about of two or three features so thank yeah. you so much for that and uh, guys please uh, appreciate him and uh, apart apart from his busy uh, schedule of the exam he has taken the time to address this webinar so thank you so much parag thank you yashpal thank you for your kind words and uh, it is all about sharing what you have it uh, makes me happy when i share something again i i am continuously telling that i am not an expert once again i am not an expert but yeah i have tried my best to share what i had and uh, uh, that's uh, very kind of you yashpal for uh, thanking me yes thank you so yes, much mr some, parag gurania someone has commented in the uh, conversation section let me check it yes please it is not showing me here okay you can continue vishal i can uh, i guess we can end it now if nobody is having any question yes so thank you so much mr parag gurania for mentoring this great workshop and we learn a great deal about profile building on linkedin which is going to be really helpful to us and also i would like to thank all the participants for attending this workshop and thank you uh, so much and we are one question one question yeah question, Ad, aditya you can ask aditya uh hi there actually i joined very late uh, yes. do you have any sort of recording over here uh, yes to... yes aditya so let me uh, declare that here that uh, this session was uh, recorded and this will be uploaded on youtube on our channel iadc pdpu student chapter you can go on there and you can again see this whole webinar and you can create your own profile and also guys don't miss out to uh, follow us on linkedin we are also on instagram we are also on facebook so uh, follow us and stay updated regarding our activities we will try our best to bring you more and more uh, sessions in future and yes this recording will be available on youtube and this yes, will be thank shared thank you very much Sure. Thank you. So I guess this is final now. Yes. If anyone don't. Okay. Okay, guys. So.